Hi friends, happy Easter. I know this is a little bit different. I'm in Isaac's room right now. Um, and I just wanted to say God bless you and wishing you a very, very happy Easter. I've been reading this um, wonderful book. It's called God is not, no, Cancer is not my God. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the title. And it's by Molly Warner, M-O-L-L-I-E. Warner, Molly Warner, she attended Calvary Chapel Chino Valley and Calvary Rancho Cucamonga and she's very close with Brandy Harrison. Um, anyway, um, I stumbled upon the fact that she wrote a book about her cancer journey and I wanted to buy it. So I've been reading it and I just felt led of the Lord to read this little excerpt with you guys. Um, it's page 113. The chapter is called The Fallen. A few weeks following the bone marrow registry drive, we came upon the one year anniversary of my diagnosis. So she has leukemia and she's now at the one year mark, but she has relapsed and the cancer came back. I battled between grieving and celebrating. My heart and mind shifted between the physical and emotional struggles weighed against the spiritual victories. At this point, I wondered if this is what it felt like to have been through an actual war I felt battle scarred yet alive. I was traumatized yet victorious. At the time of my diagnosis, my dreams of our future were filled with joyous experiences with amazing family. In the blink of an eye, all of that changed to me fighting for my life. My dreams laid aside and the future full of physical pain, medications and treatments just to keep me alive. I was almost dead by the time I was diagnosed. I'd been through multiple rounds of chemotherapy. I received a bone marrow transplant that took me to the end of myself and back. And yet my body was still fighting against this beast of an illness that will not retreat. Yet in spite of all the suffering, I can look back and see victory after victory. I should have been dead, yet I'm still alive. The Lord has continued to pour out his blessings upon our family. Each of us growing stronger in our faith each day as we rely upon him and each other through the chaos and pain. So as I just read that now, I wanted to share it with you all before we pray because that's how I feel sometimes. Um, you know, Isaac's now 13 with autism and I struggle between being so thankful that he's alive, that he's healthy, that he's overall doing pretty good. Um, but yet I also feel very traumatized like today he lunged at me and he wanted to pull my hair and it just kind of put me in a upset, I became upset mood because um, I remember all those days in 2020, he would pull my hair, he would lunge at me, he would bite, he would get aggressive, he would pinch. Um, and you know, you just kind of flash back and it's very traumatizing, but there's, it, it is a war and we are in a battle for our joy and for our peace of mind. We have peace with God, you know, Christ is risen from the dead, but yet at the same time we are wounded because we go through painful seasons that the enemy wants to make us um, stay there stay in that place of pain. So I love what Molly writes, how she says that she um, counted the victories and yet felt, still felt defeated. And so it's that tension between knowing that we're going to heaven and yet still struggling here on earth. You know, Jesus is alive. He is the resurrection and life. But there's still struggles, you guys. And so keep pressing into the Lord, holding every thought captive, clinging to Jesus with all your heart, most heart, soul, mind, and strength. Not even let the enemy take your joy away. And just praying, praying unsafe, praying God's will be done.